One of the things people don't talk about on YouTube with Unity is the organization and management of their projects. Now this is one of the most important things I can think of in game design is managing and 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 uh, the, the actual infrastructure of your projects to, to make things as simple and easy as possible to design your game, create your game, manage your assets and pump out as many games as you can basically in the shortest amount of time. Now I'm going to, in this video I'm going to go through what I do to manage my projects uh, in Unity so let's go. Firstly guys make a new account on your Mac or PC um, I've made a brand new account for my Unity stuff and my YouTube videos um, I've got nothing on my desktop, I've got no documents or pictures or anything to distract me so this is this is optim optimization to the max so in my doc I've only got the system preferences I've got all the projects I need to make my Unity games I've got Unity itself, Mono Develop, I've got a 3D modeling package, a web browser and a couple of, of uh, programs I need for my web development stuff and of course I've got a Photoshop so these are all the programs I need to make my Unity games so they're the only ones I'm going to have on my desktop so um, do this yourself make a new account nothing will be distracting you there won't be a load of files you don't need because with, when we're dealing with game projects guys um, there, are, there are a lot of assets a lot of files to deal with so the last thing you need is a picture of you and your girlfriend or have something on your desktop getting in the way so the next thing create folders relevant folders to your projects a really good one I use is called previous projects if you want to dive in and find some code you've used in a previous project just dive in and go and find it, it saves a lot of time another one if you want to actually separate your source code just make a folder called source code and and uh, dive in some other examples for example uh, audio if you have some uh, a library of audio clips you want to use in the games just put it on the desktop do this for a load of stuff uh, 2D artwork from Photoshop and anything you need guys fill your desktop with relevant stuff that will help you in your projects okay that's my advice on the desktop front so um, let's go into Unity now now this is the <laughs> this is the default layout uh, Unity provide I've downloaded a, an example project it's called Angry Bots yeah, it's quite it's quite a good project. It's a pretty good demo on the Unity site. It's free to download, so check it out if you want. But this is not this is not a good uh, layout for my laptop. I work on the laptop. I like moving around and working whenever <laughs> wherever I am really. So um, this uh, this this environment is not good for a laptop, guys. Laptops are very wide, um, and as you can see, I have to scroll through a lot of folders and stuff here, and it wastes a lot of time trying to find stuff. I know it's got a search bar here, but you know, I don't really use that a lot to be honest. I like diving into the game objects myself. So the first thing to do, thin out this panel here, the inspector, uh, and drag this project folder to the top here. Now, now it's a lot easier to browse through your assets. As you can see, when you open up a lot of folders, the list soon builds up, and you'll be scrolling through. So um, yeah, use the whole height of the, of the laptop screen to do this. Another thing to do, make this a bit smaller, um, and that's it. Optimize your workspace guys. If you're working on a laptop I find this is the best way. If you have two monitors, if you're working at home and have two or three or even more monitors, um, get, uh, float some of these panels out, move them into the next monitor, have all your objects and stuff on and the inspector on one monitor, on the other monitor, have the scene and the game. So that's another idea, so do that. Um, and just optimize your workspace it saves a lot a lot of time and this stuff does stress you out if you can't find your objects it, it, it has a big impact on you mentally honestly I've, I've been through this if you can't find objects or if it takes uh, hours upon hours to do one task you begin to question is this project worth it so if you do all these optimization stuff uh, you'll find you won't be stressed out as much you'll be able to find all the assets you need and go through your projects as quickly as you can so keep these keep these things in mind guys another thing I was going to mention is um, organizing your folders as I've done here I've put an underscore here before the folder name if you do this the folder will uh, go straight to the top of your list so if you've got an important folder you want to stand out put the underscore uh, before the name so alright so that's what I wanted to go through today 
Uh, you can save your layout, guys. Um, there's a way to save your layout somewhere. Layout, save layout, that's the one. If you want to save this layout, just go to save layout and give it a name. Laptop, for example. Okay, so keep this in mind, guys. Thanks for watching.